Good morning, everybody. It is Meteorology and Wild Forecast, and welcome back to another weather update. This is actually going to be a, a tropical update. It's been a long time since we've done, uh, it's been ever since Barry uh, ended. We're going to be talking about now a Invest 94L, which is into the northern Atlantic, actually just off the coast of the Bahamas, guys. It is actually looking like it could potentially become Tropical Storm Chantel and potentially bring in some heavy rain for parts of the Florida coast there and potentially bring in some very heavy rain for the southeast too. But guys, uh, it's not looking like p potentially be becoming a hurricane for Miami or any of these areas. At most, it could become a tropical storm for now. But guys, if you guys want, uh, before we get to the video, be sure to like this video for, I, for it lets me know that you guys like videos like these for I do more. Also, be sure to share these videos for anyone that you uh, think that will actually enjoy this channel and also be sure to hit this uh, bell notification icon so that you get notified as soon as I make a video and also be sure to subscribe to the channel so you get these daily uploads but if you guys want to know if you guys could be impacted by a tropical storm if you guys even want to find out if it can become a tropical storm or potentially a hurricane that'll come right up all right, as you can tell, we are going to be looking at the five-day graphical tropical weather outlook. And here's a system right here. The X is the, where it is. It's just basically near the Bahamas area. It is just just basically very close to the coast of uh, Florida. So it's not looking like it's going to have a lot of time to really intensify. The only, reason, only way it can actually intensify a lot if it goes like this. If it goes off the coast of Florida and goes like this into these warmer waters because it's looking like it could potentially go off the coast of florida and make impact on the southeast that can actually potentially make it a category one maybe chantel but again it is looking like it could just go right off the coast there or potentially make impact on orlando and parts of areas of miami but it's only a 30 percent chance here but here we have in this uh this box area, the circle, that's where we have development for the next five days. So again, it could form actually into a, uh, a tropical depression -ish into areas for part of the off the coast of uh, Florida. But here it is at 30% chance for the next 48 hours. It actually went up a lot. 10% chance for the uh, 48 hours yesterday. And now it's a 30% chance for the next 48 hours and five days. So if it doesn't form in the next two days, we still have that chance for the next five days. So now we're going to be looking at the, the uh, satellite imagery. So here it is right here. It's actually not that far off the coast of Florida. That's what I'm saying. You might even see these cloud covers if you live in Miami. Right here. If you live right here in Miami. Let me circle Miami. A lot of you guys don't know where Miami is. I was actually born there. But if you guys um, if you guys are in Miami, you guys could potentially see these cloud covers heading your way today and tomorrow. If you see some partially cloudy weather. That's why. It's actually very close. It is getting over the Bahamas right now. It is somewhat getting organized. It's not very organized, really. It's just a big blob of uh, joined clouds there with some severe thunderstorms. But again, it's going over the Bahamas. It's now going to be heading towards the areas. Let me see. It could potentially go like this, maybe off the coast. And that's where it could potentially become a tropical storm chantel. Or it could potentially be tropical depression as it makes impact onto s south uh florida but again there it is right here the center is right here uh you can tell this is the center of this whole system and it is bringing actually some outer bands all the way into the atlantic but that's basically what we're looking at there on the satellite imagery now we're going to be looking at the um the track guidance so again not a lot of models aren't uh, on to this really because it's just becoming a new system yesterday but here it is right here a lot of the models are showing it going to the northwest and potentially going up the coast of florida and then it could prop potentially not even affect florida but some going off the coast of florida and then turning to the central to the northern atlantic or going off the coast there potentially affecting the carolinas if it goes up to the coast of georgia and the carolinas that's where it could potentially become a hurricane shantel but again some models do show it impacting uh the um Hollywood, Florida area into um, the areas of the uh, central coast there, Florida. It's just off the coast, really. So even if not that, you'll still bring in some very huge flooding issues. But right now, not really a whole issue right now on the tracks, really. This is going to change a lot tomorrow. It could potentially go more inland or go like this. So we actually have 
actually three areas where it can go straight up into uh, Miami, go up the coast of Florida and Georgia, and then potentially affect the Carolinas, or go up the coast and then go out into the northern Atlantic. So either way, we just need to watch out here, but nothing huge right now. So now if we look at the intensity guidance, here it is at 25 knots here. It's going to be moving up it's going to be moving very slowly it's going to be intensifying not so fast like um barry and it's going to be getting up to 35 knots a uh, tropical storm santal by possibly in between the next 24 hours or the next 48 hours the so next a day or so we could see tropical storm santal form and it potentially could get to a major tropical storm look at this it could get to 55 knots there and bring in some huge flooding issues for the next three days potentially being a major tropical storm and you never know it might potentially get to a category one chantel if it goes up the coast of, of florida up there and it's going to bring in some flooding issues too but again it's looking like it's going to be once it gets to a tropical storm it could be there for a very very long time see either for between the next 24 to 48 hours all the way to the next 120 hours so it is looking like based on this it could go up the off the coast of florida but um again it's just something that we need to wait for now we're going to be looking at the wind so the next 12 hours we don't really see anything we could see a little areas that could have 20 knots there again it is only at 25 knots right now so we're not going to see any extreme winds there but the next 36 hours we are not really you guys want to look in this area right here if you want to find the woods you want to look in this area right here uh, based on the next three days it looks like it could be right here off the coast of the carolinas at 30 knots there i'm oh, sorry not 30 knots at um 20 knots not like there's going to be any huge issue and it could potentially bring in some wind issues out here off the north carolina coast there could bring bring in 30 knots but again not looking like the winds are showing anything yet Again, this happens a lot of times where they don't the winds don't show anything. Same with the vorticity in the next day, it shows a lot. Next 24 hours, we do see some kind of vorticity right here off the Florida coast there into Miami. And again, it doesn't show like this. You will be seeing it going off the coast like this. Oh, that was really, really bad. Like this is looking like it could go like that. Again, not looking like the winds or vorticity are showing it going inland or getting very extremely strong there. And then by that, we don't really see it uh, anywhere to be found. It could actually be right here, right off the Carolinas. It could at that time be a tropical storm chantel. But again, just really hard to predict right now where it could go. And now we are going to be looking at the radar for the next couple of days. So here it is, right here, off, right off the Bahamas, right here. It's going to bring in some very huge flooding issues off those islands and if we go on it's going to bring in some extremely heavy rain for the opposite coast of florida too it can bring in some very heavy rain ahead of time for the tampa bay area again it can bring in rain across all of florida and it's not just going to bring in flooding issues for one area it's going to bring in huge flooding issues for the next couple of days in the next two days we will still be seeing some huge flooding issues again it's not just florida we will be seeing flooding issues again for the southeast too and then we will be seeing it just bring in general a lot of rain for the southeast for these areas a lot of rain really it's just going to be quite quite surprising not all these rain areas or all these rain showers will be from this system and now we're quickly going to be looking at the rainfall totals for the european so we actually do see the most amount of rain off this northern florida area now look at that we're going to see a lot of rain for southern florida because it looks like it does go off the coast it looks like it get it looks like it gets really really strong if it goes off this area into the northern Atlantic. It looks like it can get to a category one as it goes off right here because again it's not it's looking like it can go in some really warm waters out here. But for uh, the Florida southern Florida area, don't expect any more than an inch really. And then for northern Florida, we could expect possibly four inches for the um, the Gainesville Florida area. And then not too much rain off the coast of Georgia and South Carolina. We will be seeing possibly four inches there and then look at this we will be seeing up to 15 inches in some of these areas that can get the most amount of rain so based on when we look at the winds when we look at the vorticity and if we look at the rainfall totals looks like it does get potentially to a hurricane if it gets over here again guys it's not a really really huge issue right now it's just an, something to keep an eye on invest 94l could potentially stay as an invest or potentially become a tropical storm chantel it's just 
something we need to wait for, which is, again, pretty annoying waiting for something to see if you need to evacuate or anything. But in this case, not looking like we need to, uh, anybody needs to evacuate right now because it looks like it just it's just going to go off the coast of Florida and potentially affect some areas in the, the coastal areas of North Carolina. Again, we just need to wait for this system. So, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I uh, hope you guys just this helped out for any of these people, anyone who needs to just um, keep an eye on this. But, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. Bye.